<laughs> At least someone's here today. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's my first assignment and most of my crew is out with food poisoning. <laughs> I told them not to order sushi on a Monday. Everyone knows that's the leftovers from the weekend. <laughs> wow, I'm rambling. Hi, I'm Kelly Porter. <laughs> I'm Reggie's producer. Oh my goodness, okay. If you don't mind, I am going to sit you down and uh, I'm gonna mic you up. How does that sound? Okay, great. We're gonna throw you right here. And uh, you know, <laughs> I've never done this before. I'm wearing a lot of hats today, um, uh, but not makeup and hair. You know why? Cause Dax, what's up Dax? Dax and I are vegan and uh, we didn't catch the same plague that the rest of the crew caught. Okay, so you know what? I think I'm gonna need an audio level from you. So uh, yeah, just, mm -hmm. Uh, cat, dog, penguin. Uh, cat, dog, penguin. Check, check, one, two, one, two. Hello, hello. Uh, cat, dog, penguin. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay, uh, 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 everything looks good. Reggie? It's all yours. Hey. <laughs> oh, man, it's great to have you here. Back where it all started. Yeah, it's good to be back and to see a familiar face. You look great. Oh, come on, man. Look at you. You the one that look good. So listen, basically, today is going to be pretty straightforward. You've seen the show before. OK, well, I'm just going to ask you some questions about your life and career. It'll be fun reminiscing. And and don't worry, OK? I, uh, I got your, uh, your agents threatening texts, and the kid glove stays on today. <laughs> okay. Whoa, whoa. Ho, ho, ho. I see you still got those all-pro reflexes. Yeah. <laughs> Ironically enough, that's how it all started for me. You know, if memory serves, you didn't start out playing football back then. That's right. Because my first day here as a transfer student, football kind of just found me. Now for the Beast de Renaissance. Your helmet. Got those fancy words from this French girl I met recently. Okay then, let's see what you can do. I don't know, coach. I haven't played since Pop Warner. Okay, football's just like music, kid. Once you learn how to play it, it never leaves your soul. Besides, if you're as half as good as you are in hockey, we're in great shape. Hey, Tommy, give him a ball, would you? We've already got a QB, coach. Darn good one based on the colleges that have already made me offers. And a modest one, apparently. Look, you still don't have any depth behind you. If you want to compete for state, it's always best to be prepared. All right, suit yourself. You got plenty of room on the bench anyway.
A little rough around the edges, but I definitely see some potential. What do you say we smooth out those edges at practice? Sounds good, coach. Good. Good practice. Welcome to the team. Hey, thanks, man. All right, man, listen. I'm gonna be real with you. This ain't gym class, okay? This is my team. And as long as you understand that, we'll be fine. You got it? Find yourself a box, keep it clean. Seat's taken. Me, all right? Yo, get out of here, bro. Hey, find yourself another spot. Captain of the team in the corner away from everyone. Shouldn't you be in the middle of the locker room, morale and all? Well, I'm just over here for some peace and quiet. I like to get my head clear before a game. But I can't really do that if guys like you keep bothering me. No, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. It's just... This whole recruitment thing, it's really stressing me out. Thought you had a ton of offers. I did, but they can disappear as quickly as they come in. Plus, if I'm not on my game at all times, I can pretty much kiss it all goodbye. I mean, no full ride to college and no shot at the NFL. NFL, that's a bit lofty, isn't it? Maybe, but I got a lot of people counting on me, so it's the NFL or bust. Well, if you're as good as advertised, that shouldn't be a problem. Yeah. You'll get a chance to see up close on Friday night. Who's that? That's Reggie Brown. He's uh, in charge of the school paper and the social media account. He's a pretty good kid, just, you know, a little annoying. Great. And here he comes. What's up, Reggie? <laughs> Tommy Matthews, the man, the myth, the legend. What's up, Reggie? Oh, maybe an exclusive for the paper? You know, winning me over with flattery will absolutely work every time. OK, I got an exclusive for you. You ready? OK, so uh, so get this. You're, 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 you're really going to love this. OK. So today, I was in the cafeteria. And you know how I usually have a chocolate shake at lunch, right? OK, so today, this is crazy, I had a vanilla shake. That's crazy, right? I mean, vanilla. Yeah, well, Tommy, man, you got to give me something I can use here. Anything, man. Well, how about a quote? OK, Reggie, here's a quote. Tommy Matthews scores four touchdowns and leads his team to another victory. How about that? OK. Yeah, I'm sure I can make that work. It's better than nothing, I suppose. Hey, if you really want to quote, I can help you out. Who are you, exactly? Yeah, I'm the new backup QB. Uh, backup QB? Yeah, I'm good. No, thanks. <sighs> On second thought, I need something to report on, and it might be worthwhile for the fans to learn the new face of the team. Yeah? Yeah. Ask me anything. OK. Uh, first question, which quarterback style would you say you emulate the most? Well, uh, it's been a while since I played competitively, but back in the day, my game was closest to Russell Wilson. I'm always going to look to use my arm first and foremost, but if the opportunity presents itself, I can pull it down and make teams pay. All right. All right. Solid answer. So when out on the field, how would you describe your personality in the huddle? Well, no matter what sport you're playing, the most important thing you can do is be ready when your numbers call. So whatever coach asks me to do, I'm going to do it. Finally. That's something I can report on. Thanks, QB2. I'll see you out there Friday night. <laughs> All right. Tommy. You all right, man? Yeah, I'm fine. I just have this bug that's going around. 
You don't look fine. You look sluggish. It's like you're not playing with any heart out there. Don't you dare talk to me about my heart. I've put everything I have into this. This game is my life. If you have so much heart, prove it. Because you're not showing any out there. Oh. Oh, hey, easy. Easy, man. I mean to upset you. You're right. About what? About my lack of heart. Look, I didn't mean anything by it. No, it's my heart, man. I was born with a congenital heart defect. What does that mean exactly? That means that my heart doesn't push blood through my body properly. Tommy, I'm sorry, I had no idea. I had a surgery when I was nine to repair it, but my doctor's saying I need another one. Tommy, you need to get help immediately. Listen, if word gets out about this, that's the end of my football career. Do you understand? Please, you can't tell anyone about this. This is serious. You can't afford to wait any longer. It's just fatigue at this point. I'll be fine. Okay, I just need to get through this season. Plus, I owe it to these guys to help them win a state championship. You're not helping anyone out there tonight, especially yourself. Plus, you're putting a huge risk with your health. You should sit this one out. What, and let you take over? I don't think so. I'll be fine. All right, boys, bring it in. Not a word. Well, it's hard to celebrate homecoming when you're being shut out by your crosstown rivals. Tommy Matthews is just not playing like himself tonight, and that is the major storyline as we continue our coverage. Tommy, you got you. What's the plan? I'm gonna have to bench you for the rest of the half. Take off your helmet, have a seat. Wait, wh what? Wh wh what do you mean? You you're pulling me from the game? Coach, I, I, I've given everything to this team. I'm doing what's best for you and for the team. Please, sit down. Uh, Coach, I don't know what he said, but I, I'm fine to play. Look, I've got scouts here watching me tonight. You, you can't bench me. No, you can't play. For me, please, sit down. Yeah, we'll talk about this later. I promise. What'd you say, man? I had to. I know you're worried. All right, but I need you to focus. You got 52 other guys out there counting on you now. I mean, 52 guys? No sweat, coach. I can do it. Good, because we're going to need you to ball out. That's not asking too much, of course. Oh, no, I got this. Was it the play calling? I mean, um, I've had two whole weeks to digest everything. I'll be fine. What could go wrong? Great. Well, with your raw athleticism, you got this. Hope you're right. Whoa, you forgetting something? Your helmet. The piece de renaissance, the most important part. Come on, you got this. Yeah, you're right, coach. I got this. Yeah? Yeah, you got this. He so doesn't got this. And welcome back. Kevin Connors with you on one of the most special games on the schedule each season. Homecoming weekend. This live stream is brought to you by EA Sports. And he'll be brought down after finding a bit of room up the field. So I'm not sure what to make of this, but Tommy Matthews was just benched for a backup who joined the team only a couple of weeks ago. And get this, his teammates nicknamed him QB2 because they thought he'd never see the field, but here he is. You know, I gotta say, it's kind of odd seeing someone other than Tommy Matthews delivering these throws. I mean, he was basically the face of this franchise, in a manner of speaking. 
pushes him off. And he's taken down after making his way to the 35. A 35-yard gain. And that's what the fans came to see. On first down, he'll drop back. Chucks this downfield. And now a flag comes out as that falls incomplete. Let's listen to the call. Defense. Come on, Nat. So the verdict's been delivered. And they'll accept the penalty as we return to the game. Still in search of their first points. Looking for a receiver. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Bulldogs. From a clipboard to the scoreboard, QB2 leads his team to pay dirt on his first drive of the game. And it's good. So they trim the lead by one more point. The score now 13 to seven. So an unexpected drive by an unknown backup we call QB2 leads the way to this kick. This is fielded just inside the goal line. And he was hoping for more as he gets taken down after an average return. First play of the drive for the Bearcats. And there's Coach Summers yelling some instructions to his QB from the sideline. Now he tucks the ball. Oh, Carpenter is sacked. Tried to use his feet, but could not avoid the takedown. Well, I've got a moment. I gotta give a quick shout out to my man Reggie Brown with the school newspaper here. He took the time to show me around campus earlier today. This kid's got a real future as a reporter. I'm telling you, he did a great piece on QB2 not long ago. Think about this team, and I remember thinking this back in the season opener. They, they just don't panic on third down. And that's been the case again here today. Here's Carpenter. He's got Stocker. Now he'll take it out past the 30-yard line. You got it. So following a drive that came and went, here's the punt after a three and out. And he sends it away. Washington fields it. And he's down at the 30. Now QB2 came off the bench to lead his team to a touchdown the last time out. Here's a chance now to prove it wasn't a fluke. And they'll make the stop after a solid gain on the play. So Coach Fetu feeling blessed to have a running back like Sammy Hawk that can take the pressure off QB2. Out of the gun, looking to fire. He finds his tight end. Busts through the contact. And he's tackled at the 41. A 25-yard gain. And that's a first down and then some. Getting ready for the shotgun snap. Here's QB2. He's got it past the marker. First down, Bulldogs. So QB2 going to a familiar face there and Davion Patton. It was Davion who caught for QB2 during a tryout for Coach Fetu that earned him a spot on the team. Gathers the snap. It's incomplete, broken up by Chapman. As a quick side note, what an honor it's been to team up with EA Sports to bring you some of the best high school football action in America. The players will be competing for Heisman trophies, national championships, and even Super Bowl titles in the years to come. Some of them are on this field today. You can feel a change in the air on this first and goal. QB2 takes the snap, and he takes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Bulldogs. And this game is tied at 13. Can you believe it? Here's Myers now for the extra point. And they'll take a narrow lead, just one point between the teams. So the scoreboard reads 14 to 13. 
after giving up the touchdown, the Bearcats are back to receive. Caught in the end zone. On that Bearcat sideline, head coach Raymond Summers What's doing that? his best to keep his kids motivated. I mean, they've watched a 13-0 lead disintegrate with a snap. And he stopped at the 25. Well, what a scene here today. And I'd be remiss if I didn't remind you that our next live stream will be from the state championship game later this season. Most believe the Brush Hogs are the team here, best baby. positioned to Don't raise that trophy. In my opinion, Kings will fly before the Brush Hogs win it all, but what do I know? After a minimal pickup, here's third and three. Hey, man, hey. Carpenter gives it to Favors, and the play call there successful as they get it across for the first. There's the whistle as we end the third quarter. More high school football on the way after a short break. Welcome back to a close game as we get started with the final quarter. Looking to throw this time. And they're unable to hook up on that play. Here comes second down. Still 10 yards to go after that incompletion on first. Still looking to throw, it's Carpenter. That throw is intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker. And it's all the way home. Touchdown, Bulldogs. And now it's time for the extra point. And he puts it through. The advantage now, 21 to 13. Following that pick six touchdown, the Bulldogs are ready to kick it away. Fielded in the end zone, and he'll take a knee for the touchback. Well, I gotta say, all the Bearcats fans that showed up for this game and yeah, they're not nearly as loud now as they were earlier when they were enjoying a shutout. Oh, hold on, he's running right. And he's yeah, down at the 35. Just short of a first down. Here's second and inches. From the shotgun now, inside handoff. And he stopped at the 42. A gain of seven on the play, and that's good for a first down. Five wideouts on the field, three to the left, two to the right. Looking to pass on first down. And that'll wind up incomplete. Parnell Justice, the intended target there. Following the incomplete pass on first down, here's second and ten. To throw again, here's Carpenter. Across his body and right into the hands of a defender, intercepted. And they'll have it at the 37 yard line. And that's twice now he's come up with a turnover. First play of the drive for the Bulldogs. And this is excellent field position as they begin this drive. A quick hitter for the completion. And he's got it past the marker, first down. Hawks lined up behind QB2. The Bulldogs will run it. They're struggling to... And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Just two plays needed to find the end zone. Now the try to add one more. It's up and it's good. The lead now, 28 to 13. Following that costly score, they're lined up for the return. 
caught in the end zone. Yeah, I think the special teams coach's head might have exploded if he took that one out. Right choice on the touchback. Needing this drive to finish in the end zone. It's first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Here's Carpenter. And that'll drop in complete. He took the hit as he threw it. Getting ready for the shotgun snap. Here's Carpenter. He'll try again as he drops back. Absolutely nowhere to go when he eats that sack. With just a mile to go, here's third and long. Out of the gun, it's Carpenter. Push him back. And he can't make the catch. Too much contact on the play, so it'll be fourth down. You don't have to be Lombardi to make this call. Fourth down at this point. I got you. Gotta go I got for it. Carpenter takes the snap. That throw is picked off. Intercepted by the Bulldogs. The Bulldogs send out their offense. And there's QB2 making some final preparations as we await the snap. A uh, strong move along the way, but he's still taken down for a loss. Clock still running as they work to preserve their lead. On second down, they'll run it here. And they bring him down after a short pick. Go, go. A gain of two on the play. And now it's third and nine. The defense is set up for the pass. To throw on third down. Here's QB2. Wait, maybe not. He's on the move. And he'll do it himself. Touchdown. Oh, they are running up the score. Myers is on now for the PAT. And they add yet another point. One of many in this matchup. They're up big right now. After giving up the touchdown, the Bearcats are back to receive. Fielded in the end zone. And this will be a touchback as he drops to one knee. Playing for nothing but pride at this point. It's first and ten. Throwing to start the drive. Here's Carpenter. Looking for justice. It's intercepted. And it's all the way home. Touchdown, Bulldogs. They just continue to light up the scoreboard. Now for the point after. And he gets it to go. The score now. 42 to 13. Following that pick six touchdown, the Bulldogs are ready to kick it away. Caught in the end zone, and this will come out to the 25 as he drops to one knee for the touchback. So the Bearcats are lined up now. And they're go. playing for pride at this point. Go. Their deficit, a considerable one. Carpenter looks downfield. God, he barely gets that off before the pressure forces that incompletion. Still 10 yards to go after that incompletion on first. Again on second down, it's Carpenter. Scratch that, he's moving right. And he gives himself up after picking up the first. We are under two minutes in the final quarter. It's first and ten. Big stop, D. Big stop. Let's go. Now they'll throw from the gun. Oh, it's a fumble. Now it's picked up going the other way. Finds a seam and he's on his way. 10. And it's all the way home. Touchdown, Bulldogs. And that should seal the deal. Now for the 
token point after. And he knocks it through. Our score now, 49 to 13. Following that thrilling fumble return, the Bulldogs are ready to kick it away. Fielded in the end zone. And we won't see a return here as he kneels for the touchback. The Bearcats take over on offense. Let's see what the future holds on first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Here's Carpenter. He makes the delivery. And he's taken down at the 48-yard line. A 23-yard gain and a first down and much, much more. Watch right, watch right, watch right. From the gun, looking to throw. He's in trouble, and down he goes. Following the sack, it's second and long. He's not going anywhere. Go, go, go. Looks to throw out of the shotgun, and it's incomplete. So we're looking at third down. Following the incomplete pass on second down, here's third and long. Out of the gun, they'll throw. Into double coverage, and it's intercepted. And they'll have it at the 47-yard line. Oh, and that's a crushing blow. Opening play of this drive for the Bulldogs. And they are very much in control of this game. And they'll make the stop at the 38. And that will do it. A comeback to remember. So as our EA Sports live stream comes to an end, I'm Kevin Connors signing off. I'm going to be watching you. Not with just with one eye, with both of my eyes. All right? Keep doing good work, and I'll be in... Hey, uh, Grant Simmons, recruiting analyst over at RecruitsToWatch.com. Heck of a game at that other night, son. Hey, uh, you ever think about your future in football? Where you might want to commit to? Not really. I'm just kind of having fun out there. Yeah, yeah, I see you out there having fun. Well, uh, look here, when you're ready, give me a call, all right? We'd love to add you to our site. My man.